Hello, welcome to part six of this mini series about the job order costing system. And now we're going to talk about finished good cost. The finished good costs account is basically a controlling account and it allows us to understand the costs of all the products that we already finished manufacturing. And uh, we normally, I normally call it at least stock ledger. So this account, the stock ledger, allows us to get information on three different areas. Uh, allows us to understand the cost data for units manufactured, the cost data for units sold, and the cost data for units on hand. And now I'm going to show you exactly how this document looks like and how to create it. So the stock ledger, as you can see, looks like this. And basically, we would have one of these tables for every item we do. So we have an item cell here, and we put the name of the product. And then we have manufactured, ship, and balance, which is similar to what we've seen before on our material ledger. Manufactured means all the quantity that I produce. Now, just a couple of details here. I'm producing two products, green purses, blue purses, for example, but in this case, I would have to have two different tables, not just one, but I'm for now, for the example, I'm just doing one. So I have green purses and uh, manufacturer means every time I complete a job, I add those items here, okay? And uh, shipped means every time that I send to the client and balances how much I actually have right now. And uh, all the other things that you see over here, we already covered it, so I'm quite sure you already know what they are. So let me show you now how to actually fill this from scratch, starting with an empty table. So our stock ledger, in order to start it, what we're going to do is to um, start filling this table. Now we would have one for each one of the items we have, and let's assume for now we're just doing the uh, green purses. Now, if you notice, this stock is actually very similar to our material account ledger, and therefore it is, um, um, it is registered under the same processes. So we're going to have manufactured, ship, and balances. Manufactured means products that add to our stock, shipped means products that decrease our stock, and balances our stock. So typically we start with the balance, and let's imagine that on the 1st of January, sorry, I put it here slightly different. So in January on the 1st, let's imagine we have a total of 100 purses. Uh, 100 purses. They are worth, let's imagine, um, $600. And basically the unit cost here would be obviously the quantity multiplied by our amount. Okay. Sorry, the <laughs> that was a mistake. The quantity, the amount divided by the quantity. Now that is correct. Okay. So amount divided by quantity. And actually, it's a little bit too cheap, so let me just, there you go, so $6,000, okay? Then what we do is, let's pick up, for example, the job cost sheet for uh, unit 007, okay? Uh, in this case, it was blue purses, but uh, imagine I would just transfer it um, as being green purses for now, just as an example. So what I would do is, in order to add any job that is finished of the product, you would put here the, um, the job, so 00, so for example, job 007. And in this case, let me just change this very quickly to plain text so that it shows the 007. There you go. And then we add how many quanti how many we produce. In this case, we produce a thousand. And the total value of this, now let's just pick up here, it was uh, 50,996. So I'm just gonna 50,996. There you go. Um, and then what we would do is, let's imagine we finish this on January 30th, okay? And what we would do now is just add. So I have 100, now I have 1,100 units, 100 from before plus 1,000. And then I would just add here my costs. I would have to add this 50,996 and I would add this 6,000 from before. So that means my total stock is worth 56,996. And then all I have to do is divide my amount by my quantity. And now on average, each one of my purse costs to produce um, $51.81. Every time that we ship or we send to some um, client the quantities that we have created, basically all we have to do is exactly the same. Let's imagine I have shipping order A0001, uh, for example, and then I'll place here the quantity. Let's imagine that I sent 800 purses, for example, and I'll place here the amount. Now the amount I just copy from the quantity 
and I multiply by the unit cost of each one of my purses right now, which is 5181, and there you go. Mm, why is it showing up in percentage? That is incorrect. Let me quickly change this. There, actually, this is also incorrect because I actually want, there you go. So here's the value of the stock that I just shipped. Now, this is not the amount to which I sold. This is how much it costed me to produce. In order to sell, obviously, if each one of them costed me 5181, uh, I have to sell for a price higher than that. And then on this, I'll just update my ledger. So let's imagine I sent this on the 31st of January, actually. Now, how many units do I have? If I have 1,100 and now I sent 800, I would have only 300. And then my value here, the unit cost would be the same as before, did not change. And so my amount here would be my quantity multiplied by my unit cost. And there you go. Now I only have 15,544.36 cents of inventory. And this is how we create and update our stock ledger. All right, so in this video, we learned about the stock ledger and how to do it. As you see, it's very similar to documents we did before, but this one allows us to know all the information we need in terms of our finished goods. Remember, this is the document that basically tells us how much finished goods we have, how much they cost, and uh, basically the value of all the stocks that we currently have. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, I'll see you on the next video of this mini series.